Hey everybody, Chad here from Far Beyond Snoobie, and it is time for another non-alcoholic beer review. And uh, today we're talking about Closer by the Mile. This is a uh, an athletic beer. Um, athletic, of course, out of Connecticut. Um, so I'm going to pour this up real quick. I need to get faster at reviewing these. Um, it seems like I was I got this one not too long ago, and I was working through my notes on it. And I was like, oh, I'll put this review out soon, and uh, I got my review and everything done. And I went back to the website to kind of type up some of my last notes and stuff, and I noticed it was already gone. So I'm reviewing something that isn't even for sale anymore. So I need to get faster with Athletics beers because it seems like by the time I, I get them or by the time I'm ready to review them, it seems like they're already um, sold out. So this review is really not relevant, I guess, um, other than me just talking about a beer that, I, uh, that I've that i been enjoying. So so we're reviewing something not for sale anymore. Um, if it comes back, though, it's pretty good. Um, nice, uh, nice hazy, kind of a light color. Pretty good ahead on this one. Good amount of carbonation. Uh, Athletic, their beers, they usually do have a pretty good body to them and a pretty good amount of carbonation. Hmm. I'll show you this can real quick. And then we'll uh, we'll talk about some product specifics and all that good stuff that you guys uh, come to Far Beyond Snoopy for. Um, of course, the uh, description for this one first before the flavor. Um, riding high for its second year in a row is closer by the mile. Okay, so I guess it will come back next year. Okay, so this is kind of relevant. Well, hopefully it'll come back next year. Um, Closer by the Mile is our Pan Mass Challenge IPA. Brewed for the Pan Mass Challenge, a portion of the profits will go to the PMC and Cancer Research. Learn more about Pan Mass Challenge uh, there on the website. Um, flavor is bursting with bright, bold, and zesty notes. It is a refreshing and triumphant toast to the road ahead. With a bubbly start and a crisp, clean finish, it is an optimistic sip of both flavor and fortitude, and one that we're thrilled to be released for another ride. 12-ounce uh, can here. Um... ABV is, of course, less than 0.5%. IBU is listed as 50. I love higher IBUs, so when I saw that, of course, I was a little stoked about it. Um, I bought this from Athletic Brewing, um, $12.99 for the, for the six-pack, um, but I bought two six-packs. They ship two for free, so I always try to buy two if I'm getting something from there. Uh, $27.78 was a ship price, uh, or $2.32 a, uh, a can. So again, sorry I didn't get this review out in time, but it sold out, so I guess people liked it and bought it. Um, but if it comes back next year, I'll have this review to reference. Whenever uh, whenever it comes back around, I'll be like, hey, watch my review, and I'll already have it done. So save myself some time. Now in the aroma, this smells great. I mean, it's nice and hoppy. It's citrusy, pulling out grapefruit notes, maybe some tangerine. Nice and hoppy, though, really hop forward. Semi-tropical, a little bit of malty presence, some of those grassy notes. It smells really good, though. Um, in the color, I mean, you can see it's it's a beautiful beer. The head is still sticking around. You don't get that a lot with non-alcoholic IPAs. Still seeing some bubbles. Um, and in the mouth, let me take a sip and I'll talk about that. Pretty good mouthfeel. I mean, it's not a uh, it's not like a uh, a light body. I'd say it's more of a medium body. It's not really light, not really heavy. It does have some substantial presence to it. It does have a nice body to it. Um, so probably about that medium level, about a medium amount of carbonation. So pretty good feel in the mouth, pretty substantial, but not too heavy. So I guess that's kind of what you want if this is uh, inspired by the Pan Mass Challenge, something that's easier drinking, I imagine. Good flavor though. I mean, it's definitely hoppy. Uh, nice and uh, citrusy, kind of tropical. I do pull out some of those kind of grapefruit notes, um, almost a little orangey, tangerine-y, that's a word, um, but but nice and hoppy, really hop forward, um, like, like it says, really hop forward. Um, really flavorful, really well balanced. I like this one. It's a shame it's not around anymore. Seems like that's what happens when I find a beer I really like, it goes away. Uh very flavorful though. I mean, I like that. Definitely has a nice IPA flavor to it. A lot of times with non-alcoholic, especially with IPAs, they don't really have that IPA flavor I like. This one really does. Hoppy and tropical and citrusy and a nice body. I mean, that's what I look for in a beer. I definitely get it with this one. It does have kind of a malty backbone, but a very light one. It's more more hoppy than anything. Mm. But incredibly flavorful. Um, in the finish, it does have kind of a crisp note or element to it, but to me it's more of a smooth finish. Very smooth, very clean finish, nice aftertaste. Um, the tropical kind of kicks around, doesn't stay too bitter on the tongue. Um, 
but a, a really nice, just tropical, really good finish on this one. I dig it. It's pretty good stuff. So, of course, it's not around anymore, which is always what happens when I really like a beer. Mm. Okay, so um, we've talked about it. Let's go ahead and check out my rating on it. Let's see what I thought about this one. Go ahead and mash that thumbs up button like there's no tomorrow. Leave a comment about how rad this video is. And most importantly, subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the bell to find out when we put awesome new videos up. So you guys, if you've been watching my videos long, you know my reviews are super simple. Um, my ratings are super easy. Did I like it? Was it average? Did I dislike it? Um, this one will get two thumbs up. I really like this one. Um, I don't give a lot of two thumbs up out when I do. It's usually for IPAs, so it makes sense that this one got a better score. But Athletic makes phenomenal beer. I mean, I haven't had one from them that I, I didn't like. So um, it's, it's a good beer because Athletic makes a good quality non-alcoholic beer, but also because it, it stands kind of uh, above a lot of the other non-alcoholic IPAs I've had. If this one stayed around and they kept selling it, I would absolutely buy more because the flavor is great. Very well balanced, just a delicious non-alcoholic IPA. So next year when it comes back around, I'm going to buy more than one six-pack so that I can keep some around, obviously. Um, but it's it's a really good one. Usually I finish my reviews by saying, hey, if you, uh, if you like this, if you like IPAs or you want to try something new out, go grab yourself some. But obviously it's sold out now, so my that doesn't really do much of anything. Um, but next year, when it comes back around, buy some. It's, it's a very good IPA um, from a non-alcoholic standpoint. Uh, I wish I would have got this review out sooner. So I, I guess I'm going to learn. This is a learning experience for me. Um, with athletic beers, anytime they have a, a non-alcoholic limited edition, um, I need to get those reviews done quicker so that I can have them up before they sell out, obviously. I don't know how fast this one was sold out, but um, I obviously should have done my review a little bit faster. But anyways, I like talking about non-alcoholic beers. And, you know, this one, even though it's gone, I was still glad to review it, and I really enjoyed it. So that wraps it up for me, guys. As always, thanks for watching another non-alcoholic beer review here on Far Beyond Snoopy. We'll see you next time. And, of course, as always, cheers.